hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening you know depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country um, yesterday, um, we got a report that uh, um, um, Delta State Governor Ifan Yokoa um, released a statement that um, he's not even aware of the passing of the Ishekiri monarch, the person of um, Ogiame Ikinwali. And um, he stated that um, uh, uh, as a result of that, they are not ready to wade into any sort of um, controversy, the crisis that is going on currently. You know, currently, after the announcement of the Olu designate, it raised a lot of uh, controversies, especially from um, the Olubosheri of Ishakiri Kingdom, the person of um, Imami Ayere. He was the one that stated that um, due process was not followed and um, gave reasons why Teshola, the Olu designate, um, shouldn't be the right person or uh, all of um, the things he stated. But anyway, in the midst of all of that crisis, uh, um, Delta State government spoke yesterday that they were not officially informed that normally um, if any monarch passes that they should receive a statement, they should receive um, a notification. Yes, um, they should be sent a notification directly to the government house notifying the governor that this has just happened, that they don't expect them to just read it from the news or take it from uh, the lips of um Order. So as a result of that, they were not ready to speak regarding whatever is happening. So right now, the report we're getting is that uh, um, traditional chiefs, they've actually visited government house to officially inform him. And as a result of that, Delta State Governor has um, uh, decided um, to, to speak and also give his condolence to the Shekiri Nation over the monarch's demise. We'll bring you all of those details shortly. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe thank you once again my beautiful people god bless you delta state governor dr ifan yokoa on thursday condoled with the shekiri people in the state on the passing of their monarch ogiame ikiwanli the olu of worry governor kowa told members of the olu of worry advisory council who visited him at government house at saba that the departed olu was an epitome of peace who built bridges across ethnic divides in the country he stated that the late Ogiame contributed immensely to the peace and development of not only Wari Kingdom, but the state and the country. I want to truly condole with the whole of Ishekiri Nation on the passing of Ogiame Ikinwanli, the king who believed in peace, the governor stated. He set out to visit other monarchs to establish partnership and friendship, and this partnership he built helped to improve on the peace in the state and helped to bring various kingdoms together. We thank God for the life of His Royal Majesty who has gone to the great beyond and I pray that the Shekiri Nation will continue to work for peace because he was an epitome of peace. We appreciate his conduct as a royal father who was always with us at state functions along with his colleagues. He built bridges of friendship and played his role beyond the Shekiri Nation. We're not expecting this but only God knows why it happened so early. On behalf of the government house and people of Delta, I mourn with the Shekiri Nation on the passing of His Royal Majesty Ogiame Ikiwanli, the Olu of Wari Kingdom, he said. The governor congratulated the Olu designate Prince Teshola Emiko on his emergence and called on the Shekiri people to give him their full support. He urged the Olu Advisory Council, led by the Iyashere of Wari Kingdom, Chief Johnson Omashei, to do its best to unite everyone and ensure that there was peace in Wari Kingdom. I thank God that you have been able to arrive at a decision in the interest of the people on the choice of a new monarch. I pray to God to lead the Shekiri nation through these trying times, even as we walk towards giving the departed king benefiting burial rights, and we also look forward to the presentation of the new king. Please extend my congratulations to the new monarch and we Assure him that our prayers are with him and just as we pray that the Shekiri nation will remain united. It is only when there is peace that we can have development, not only in Wari but the entire Delta state. Okowa added, he urged all aggrieved persons in the process of picking a new Olu to sheath their sword 
to ensure that everything was done peacefully and in unity in the overall interests of Ishekiri people. Earlier, Chief Brown Mene, speaking for the delegation, said the visit was to intimate the governor on the demise of the Wari monarch and the enthronement of a new one. Your Excellency, on the 5th of April 2021, we got to a point where, as a people, we gathered together to make a proclamation that our Reverend Ogiame Ikiwanli had been called to join his ancestors. And because we know the king never dies, and on that same day we proclaim to the whole world that we have a new Olu designate in the person of Prince Teshola Emiko. At the conclusion of the funeral rites of the departed king, we can then enthrone the new king, Mene said. The delegation also condoled with the governor on the demise of his father, Pa Otho Okori, who died in January. The high point of the visit was the presentation of a letter to the governor formally notifying him of the demise of the monarch. So, um, it, I, I wouldn't want to say it's a coincidence, because it was yesterday the Delta State government was speaking that um, they are not aware that um, the, the uh, monarch has passed on. Anyway, um, they've done the right thing by going to government house to notify him. They've officially notified him, and right now he's... Okowa has uh, given his condolences and also congratulating the new Olu, the Olu designate. And very well, he's aware of um, the crisis surrounding the emergence of um, Teshola Emiko and the controversies and all of uh, uh, the, the arguments that are on ground at the moment. You know, after um, the Olu Bosheredas Ayeri um, stated that uh, it's not going to happen, that Teshola cannot be the Olu, you know, uh, a, a, a report came out that um, the chiefs, they've actually suspended Ayere. Not too long after that, Ayere came out that he's not suspended, that they can't suspend him. So I don't know how this um, is going to go. But however, the main thing first, um, uh, the main priority is to carry out the burial rites. You know, initially when they made the announcement, they talked about no celebration in the whole of Ishakiri kingdom, um, just... Um, as to honor the monarch, everything will be on hold until all of the burial rites are completed, you know. And after that, um, they are going to do the um, the coronation. They're going to crown Teshola. I don't know if um, Ayeri, if his suspension is actually valid. Ayeri states in that um, his suspension, no one is suspending him and that um, he cannot be suspended. So uh, all he wants is that due process should be followed and he feels that due process has not been followed. So Kowa is aware of everything that is going on, but it looks like he's throwing his support behind Teshola because he has congratulated Teshola and assured him that um, uh, of his support as everything goes on. Well, my people, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.